Over time, a coupling will wear out. Uh, on a Bradley coupling, there is a small piece of cast. Can you this cast goes through a latch um, and over time, the latch will lower down. The way to test it is to put the coupling on a new tow ball, like so, and a new coupling, the casting is about three to four mil above the bottom of the slot. On a, over time, as the coupling wears, the casting lowers down and it will eventually touch or be very close to that. At this point, you will begin to notice rattling as you're towing the trailer as the coupling becomes loose on the tow ball and the head will require changing. To change it, there are not many tools needed, but there are a few uh, knacks that you learn over time to do this. This particular coupling is a later Bradley coupling. It has an Alco draw tube, which means it has two horizontal bolts. The, all the couplings up till November 2017 had a horizontal bolt at the back and a vertical bolt on the front up to 2.7 tonnes and on the three and a half tonnes had a horizontal bolt at the front and a vertical bolt at the back. Um, the three and a half tonne couplings that still have the Bradley head are still a horizontal and vertical bolt, whereas they do do them with an Alco head which have two horizontal bolts. To change the coupling, is fairly simple. First of all, you need to loosen the two bolts off that secure the head. This is done with 19 mm uh, spanners and sockets. Once this is done, the front bolt should remove fairly easily. Then the second bolt, the rearmost one, tap it back with a hammer once it's flush we have a bolt that is cut down we've basically cut the back and the front edge off and this is cut to 47 mil the reason it's cut for 47 mil is the older couplings have a 48 mil draw tube this will sit inside the draw tube tap the bolt out using this pin and tap it until it's fully inside the draw tube. Once this is fully into the draw tube, the head will then slide off. This leaves the pin set inside and this holds the damper and stops the damper coming forwards. Then refitting the damper, the, the coupling head is quite simple with the front bolt just sliding in
and the bolt knocks back in and pushes your pin back out. Once this is done it's recommended to use new nuts. I'm not using new nuts because this head is going to come off again but once that's done they just need tightening up and talking to the correct torque. This can be carried out easily with um, with the trailer, the coupling fastened to the trailer. There's nothing in the way, and never any problems to uh, that you will come across where you won't be able to do it while it's on the trailer. There is also another way of fitting the uh, coupling head if you don't have a pin. And the way of doing this is you knock this bolt out and you remove the back bolt on the damper. Once the back bolt's removed on the damper, the bolt can uh, be lined up on the front and with the size of this section on the back, it is a lot easier to line this up by putting a podger or a screwdriver through the back and sliding the bolt in the back. It's not quite as simple as having the pin but either way will work. The torque settings on a Bradley coupling head are 100 to 105 on the M12 bolts fitted to a 48 or 50 mil draw tube and on the three and a half ton coupling with the M14 bolts and a 60 mil draw tube they are 95 to 100 newton meters not have different torque settings not use 100 mil on M12s on their 50 mil draw tube and 125 newton meters on their M14 bolts that's used on the 60 mil draw tube used in the three and a half ton coupling